Oxalic acid vaporization is a really great varroa treatment option to consider using here in the winter. Oxalic acid is currently registered for use in colonies that have no brood. So from the period of the end of November all the way through January is typically when beekeepers here in New York are using the treatment. Oxalic acid is also great to use in winter because it's effective even when it's cold out. As long as it's at or above 37 degrees Fahrenheit, you're good to go. And lastly, it's really great to use because it's quite convenient. Beekeepers don't need to open up the hives during these cold months, and they don't need to return to their apiaries in order to switch out any strips or treatments. You can do it all in one visit. Before you use oxalic acid, it's really important to have personal protection. This acid can be very damaging to your eyes, to your skin, and to your lungs and other organs if you breathe it in. So you need to make sure that you're wearing safety goggles, that you have a respirator with the right cartridge, and that you have gloves to protect your hands. The dose of oxalic acid that you're going to be using is one gram per brood box. So if you're overwintering your colonies in one brood box, you use one gram of oxalic acid. If you overwinter them in two brood boxes, you're going to use two grams of oxalic acid and so on. It's really important that the only entrance available is the lower front entrance of the colony. You want to block off any crevices um, or cracks in your equipment. You want to tape off any upper entrances and you want to switch out a screen bottom board for a solid bottom board if you have one in place. Now you're ready to start. You want to put the right dosage of oxalic acid into the pan of your vaporizer. And in this example, we're using a Varox vaporizer, but there's a lot of different ones on the market, so make sure you're reading the directions for your specific model. You slide the vaporizer right into the entrance of the colony, and then you're going to actually cover up the entrance of the hive, either with a strip of foam or even with an old rag, like in this example. Then you connect your vaporizer to a car battery as your power source and you're going to leave it connected for two and a half minutes. And you wanna make sure that you're timing this. During this time, step away from the colony. There might be some fog that comes out of the hive. You wanna make sure that you're not close to it or coming in contact with it. And after two and a half minutes are done, you can unplug the vaporizer from the car battery and you can take a quick peek and see if all of the crystals have actually um, evaporated from the pan. If they haven't, you can leave it in for another 30 seconds or so. And if they have, then great, leave the device unconnected from the car battery for another two minutes just sitting in your hive. After two minutes is up, you can remove the vaporizer, continue to leave the rag covering the entrance of the hive for an additional 10 minutes, and also cool off your vaporizer. After removing your vaporizer, it's very important to cool it off before putting it in the next hive. You don't want to accidentally start sublimating your oxalic acid before it's gone into the next entrance. And after that, you're all good to go. So let us know if you're thinking about using oxalic acid vaporization this winter. It's a really great option to consider as part of your overall integrated pest management approach for Varroa.